Oh, we're giving a little too, too much, bro. Chill. Coming soon? Pokemon? Well, uh, well uh, you know, we'll move we're on. just talking about like Pokemon move cards. On. Move guys, on. But bro. We're going to move on, though. We don't want to. But who knows? There's something coming up soon, guys. So we'll keep see. Your, we'll keep see. Keep we'll your see. ears and eyes. <laughs> keep your eyes on your ears. Oh, on your eyes, guys. <laughs> but. What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to the Shoebox Podcast, the number one shoe podcast in the world. I'm your host, Chewy. I'm your second host, Oscar. And we have Ben Athlete's Mexican voice. My mother and my brother were with me in Mexico when I was working in a show for kids. That is Ben Athlete, guys. And he is one of our co-hosts as well. So we're going to have him come in next week. And he's only going to speak in Spanish. <laughs> That'd be kind of hard, actually. That'd be so sick. But uh, we just got back from Vegas, guys. We're super hyped to be back. Sorry about the long wait. Very nice. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Vegas was lit. Though. Vegas oh, was um, crazy, guys. Dude, um, we had so much fun. Like, I was like wasted, like. 95 percent of the time <laughs> yeah he was he was bobbing and weaving bobbing and weaving he was like dodging balls like a football player or something Jesus you know what Christ. i mean no i wasn't relax relax would really? you relax <laughs> we're just dodging people for trying to buy it trying to sell his stuff on the streets guys oh yeah <laughs> but overall it was cool i'm i'm excited that we finally got to go into un uh mervin necessities was basically everything that we kind of like i guess seen or imagined or heard about so it was really big yeah it was huge big it big. was i've never seen a reseller store that big guys it was it was pretty cool like you know have the amount of inventory they have and like all the cool collector items like and like having like a tattoo shop barber shop oh yeah. ice cream like everything like ice cream four, four key, like four uh, key machines like it was it was cool oh, yeah, to see yeah, like four key machines yeah. i was like holy crap bro you almost be going crazy on these things but yeah. like yeah the inventory nobody was, was using insane. them guys mm-hmm. nobody was doing it <laughs> It's because it's a scam. It is a scam. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, they have their own. I mean, it's Vegas, though. Like, you're going there to gamble. Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm walking here. I'm like, walking here to try but, to make some money. <laughs> but, yeah, it was crazy the amount of inventory we had. Uh, we had. They had. <laughs> they had. We don't have any. We don't have. We have no inventory. We have zero shoes zero right now. Shoes. We're actually doing this podcast to say that we're out of the game. We're bankrupt. I don't want to pay. The, I don't want. I don't, don't want to pay the taxes next year. We don't want to pay taxes. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but we're it was. Kidding, it, was kidding. it was fire. It was fire. Overall, and then shout out to Paul. Um, always good to see uh, Tri Cities homies who's you know making moves out there. Yeah, he's killing. He's in Vegas killing now. It. We, we uh we need to get him on the podcast, bro. We need we to get really him. do. He he was saying that he was going to be down here in November. So Paul, if you're seeing this, get ready. You're going to be on the podcast. We will be sending you an email. Twenty three. <laughs> episode six <laughs> episode six i'm kidding guys um we're trying to get these pumped out faster for you guys and then chewy ran into kais and said what's up to him dabbed him up a little bit oh no <laughs> oh no no we saw him though we it was saw really kais. Cool. that was cool it was like seeing a celebrity or like not a celebrity but like a youtuber like reseller guy like yeah it's because it's somebody like that we watch that's what we were saying it's always like dude it's crazy that we like we grew up watching him on youtube and like now we're making like youtube videos yeah, yeah. so it's really cool to kind of like see people like that we didn't say what's up though i was just we we're just messing around we saw him yeah, but yeah. like we didn't say what's up to him just because we didn't want to invade and and, and kind of make him feel maybe uncomfortable i don't know <laughs> you know it's like it's kind of like you know he's doing it like all day every day just being like a like you know having it on you know like being a youtuber and stuff so like yeah we saw him with his girl and like he just found out that it was his birthday too yeah, so it's well, probably yeah, seen, good that we yeah, didn't I say seen anything on youtube video that it was his birthday that's why he was out in vegas so that's why i was like okay maybe it was cool we didn't so but like that was cool too um there was a couple of stores we didn't get to go to we went to the nike store we we're actually looking for the yellow toes because they dropped that day we should have um, gone to full locker guys yeah we should have gone to full lockers and all that and go into it but we were on vacation mode to be honest yeah. like we weren't really there more for, for, for like a lot for business we were just trying to like have a good time um because we haven't had vacation all year so we were like kind of like we need to have a vacation. <laughs> the second Bad Bunny show, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we went for was the Bad Bunny show. Yeah. So, and that show was awesome. We went to the Friday one. I, I love, just, I love Benito. I love you, Benito. <laughs> he is daddy. <laughs> have my baby. <laughs> have have all my, my kids. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> have I, all my sons. <laughs> there was somebody there trying to tell him that to so like have his kids uh, with his wife, and I was like, it was crazy. I was like, whoa, right, dude. Come whoa, on, dude. Relax, relax. You know. 
That's a good idea, though. That's a good idea. Back to the shoes, though. Oh, he got a tattoo for the first time. Oh, yeah. I got my first tattoo. It's something crazy. Um, It's just like a Pokeball. It's it's just a Pokeball. It goes with our (laughs) brand, though, guys. Because we love Pokemon here, guys. We haven't really opened any Pokemon, but it's just because, like... Oh, yeah. Whoa, we're giving a little too too much, bro. Chill. Coming soon? Pokemon? Well, well, uh, you know... We're just talking about, like, Pokemon cards, guys. Move on, But we're going to move on, though. We don't want to... But who knows? There's something coming up soon, guys. So we'll keep see. Your, we'll see. Keep we'll your see. ears and eyes. <laughs> keep your eyes on your ears. Oh, on your eyes, guys. <laughs> but okay, September was here. Gone. Yep. It's almost it. gone. Adios, amigos. Hasta la vida. You know, whatever you want to call it. Okay, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> but these are the shoes I want to go through with you and kind of see because I know we talk about some of the shoes that release every month. But these are the shoes that I think that were you know some some heat bangers. And I know we can change a lot of a lot of our thoughts can change once we see the shoes in hand. Um, and if and seeing kind of like what you think as far as like would you wear them? Yeah. Do you still think they're a good shoe? Mm-hmm. Uh, where you rank them at? Um, so we'll start something light, and these are some of the shoes that we've been buying um, through September. So first shoes, we'll start a little bit light, and kind of want to get your your opinion on these. I'm excited for these actually. The lottery dunks can only fit right since you're coming from Vegas, fire. coming back from Vegas. So like fire guys, green pair. Boom. Love them. I love this forest green. Like if I anything gray I see, pair. oh gray pair. Anything, any shoe that I see when this green, I want to buy. Like the pine greens, like it's oh, like it's a, a pine, green. it's like a pine green, you know. Like I love this green. It's uh, just like it's a I more, think it's like a forest green. Forest? Yeah. This pine a little darker, right? It pine I is feel like, like pine's a little more, more. Yeah. Uh, we can go grab them real quick. I'm just kidding. Nah. But I no. think, I think. <laughs> well, I guess I, I, from looking from over there, I think these are a little lighter than a pine green. But yeah. I think yeah, like the forest green, I love this colorway, and then the gray with the black, solid though. Dailies, you know. And the cool thing about both of these pairs is like you can rub away the the black swoosh and you get a red swoosh yeah, with a, a bunch red of swoosh and stuff like that. So cool, like little like a uh, seven cherry, like kind of like the like Vegas, like those. That's what I'm saying. Like, like slot machines, you know what I mean? Like, bro, that was that would have been perfect for the fit. And he got uh, he got tattooed actually, like the the lucky seven. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So me and my brother did. Yeah, they got matching tattoos and stuff like that. So that's why I was kind of like, bro, these would have been. This would have been a cool like little Instagram pic or something mm-hmm. with like the sushi like cut off on them. Oh yeah, that would have been gangster. Been hard, hard. Yeah, I would have DM'd so, Kais right away with those. <laughs> so seeing these two in hand, which one, in your opinion, do you think is still the better, better release on these ones? The gray or the green? I like the green ones. Green. I, I agree with you. I think the green ones are the they're, best ones still. Like I want fire. Yeah, I just want a more like I don't have a lot of this green in my collection, so I would rather have this than like a gray and black pair. You know, so yeah, this is so I feel like this is more wearable. Like. Like for sure but like i feel like it just would blend in more yeah um and it's just you know like you, you don't just want to have a pair of dunks i feel like these will stick out just a little bit more yeah. where people can kind of see them and then i don't know if you guys can see but it's kind of like a sale like an off-white a little yeah, bit on yeah, here yeah. it's not just like a white so i think it gives that vintage kind of look to it too so that's why i, I personally like these super dope better. Pairs. um next shoe is another shoe that a lot of people anticipated throughout the year um it's more of a classic, um, but now seeing them in hand, is it still a classic? Yo. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> OG colorway, guys. The, the Nike. Fire, you got the, show them Nike. You got the you Nike. Got the Nike. The, back, dude, the guys. Nike. They brought it back. They got rid of the Jordan jumping, and they put the Nike back on <laughs> Jordan there. Jordan jumping. You mean the jump man? The jump man? <laughs> it's jump man, jump man, jump man. So they, yeah. Um, they don't have the Jordan jumping. <laughs> he's up, yeah, he's, Jordan's he's jumping right here. Time, Jordan's, Jordan's jumping right here. Don't think. You know, I don't really wear threes a lot, but like this is a clean colorway. You know, you can't go wrong with the red, I'm a, white, I'm a and three black guy. shoe. You know? I love it. He loves threes. He's, we've realized he's come becoming an old head. So like, like, a little bit, just a little bit. He's just I feel like, like he has like shoe he, models. He like wants every bread color. <laughs> bro, like, like they're just hard. What do you every want me to OG do? colorway he wants. So bro, because it's like I feel like I'm still in that perspective of like any shoe that like Jordan actually wore. Like, it just makes it a lot more valuable mm-hmm. to me because I'm just kind of like, that's the shoe that, like, he hooped in. Kind of has a little bit of history, which yeah. we talked about when the shoe has a story. Mm-hmm. Well, the story was built in the shoes. So, that's oh, why for yeah. me, I'm like, anything that's OG, I got to have. I got to have it. So, yeah. it's definitely a good shoe. Um, are you personally buying? Uh, I would buy it a resale or, 
you know, maybe to hang up. I wouldn't wear them just because I don't really wear threes. Oh, I'm, this I'm is gonna a, wear the yeah, yeah, he's gonna, sh- out of mine. We're, we're looking for a size ten for him, actually. Yeah, so, we are looking for my size. So still. DM him if you guys have a pair. We'll, <laughs> at we'll buy P and W on Instagram. It's usually the best way to get about it. You want to <laughs> trade? We'll trade for you guys if you need. Oh, your girl needs shoes. Your girl needs me. some denim Jordan ones. Yeah, let us know, guys. We got you. We got we'll you. Throw twenty bucks on top. Um, <laughs> I also wanted to say like the quality on these ones is really nice. Like just this pair alone, like from the cardinal threes to this pair the paint looks really good there's no glue stains like the yeah, yeah they really got, did a good job really, on these pair yeah we got some really good pairs in these and i yeah I, I like it again for me it's a cop for you it's not oh we never said for these two are, are, are these a cop or are you gonna pass on these cop two? uh resell <laughs> <laughs> all right next shoe another shoe really anticipated some people calling it sneaker of the year the, uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't say that but the West Khalifas, the black and yellows, black and yellows, the Wiz, uh, the taxis, the the taxi drivers, the Robert De Niro's, the Robert De Niro's. I'm walking here. The, 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 the I'm walking here. <laughs> the honeybees, guys. <laughs> so the Kobe's. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't even gotta ask you, bro. Are these a cop? I already got a pair. <laughs> on the way. On I'm, the way. I'm, I'm kidding. Good. Uh, I, I we, do have a pair though. On the way, I, guys. Again, another shoe I need that I. I can't I, why do i keep not getting my sizes like we know. hit we always hit like a nine and a half or like an 11 and yeah. i'm always like bro why can't we hit like a like a 10 <laughs> well the funny thing is about these ones guys like i try to put my size in on foot locker at vegas and i just kept the foot locker and champs app is the worst thing in the world the worst every time i'm on there i want to throw my phone their app but, is worse than their customer service oh hey. whoa Whoa. Hey, no, nah, I'm just kidding. But, uh, <laughs> no, it's true. But um, <laughs> like I went to go get, I like, put my size in for these, and it just kept telling me error. So I just assume I wasn't gonna get them. And then I woke up, and yeah, I hit on these, and, yeah. a, and a size eight on Nike. Yeah, so. he, woke, he was like super excited and telling me, and I was like, damn, I forgot to enter. <laughs> <laughs> you was trying to go to the bathroom this morning. I was man. just like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I was like hungover, just trying to get like <laughs> wake up, and he's like. Oh, I, I hit, hit, on, I hit, I hit two, pairs. two pairs and I was like, "Oh yeah, they dropped." And I was like, "Whatever." But yeah, cop for sure for me as well. The they just have that classic pine green, core purple. Like, I would definitely cop. Uh, yeah, I'm just letting you guys know, cop this pair just because this is gonna in a couple years this is gonna be a five hundred dollars shoe. It's not even about that. It's not even like okay, but like trust me, making a little bit of money is good. Like I mean, we're resellers, but <laughs> the, the best part about is it is sick. like not like like it's gonna be one of those shoes I feel like that you're gonna regret or. Like a little bit of have like a little bit of a uh, like oh like reminiscing a little bit yeah like I remember when these dropped and they were and they were like, retail you know, people, you know people love telling that story they yeah. were retail they were sitting on shelves yeah I should have bought it or I bought it and then I sold them like no this is gonna be a shoe you want to cop wear and maybe have a second pair so then that way you can like you know just pull them out in two three years maybe four or five years and be like. I got them. Yep. They didn't believe in us. I'm getting rid of my pollens just for these. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good move though. I would do the same. <laughs> yeah. okay. Last shoe. Last shoe, guys. Now this is a shoe that not everybody got. You know, we were just blessed by sneak gods. And thank you, Nike. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't know if like you know, it's something that we would, we would have an opportunity to really buy just because it's probably not it's unless not, you're gonna spend yeah. a bag. But I still wanted to get our opinions and kind of see because somebody here, you know, tends to kind of hate on this shoe a little bit. Uh, but I just like to hate. See if it's <laughs> see if it's mind changed a little bit now that we have it in hand and that the uh, sneaker gods bless this. Yeah. The Brooklyn Off White Air Force Ones. Where's Brooklyn at? Where's Brooklyn at? It's in our hands. That's where it's at. What do you think? In I hand. Was, I was Come trying on. to sing Come a Biggie on. song, but I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was all a dream. It was all a dream. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Um, they look way better in hand than on the pictures. The green's a little more subtle. You get to see all the little details they added onto these. Like, like I didn't know that they had the little like perforation. Like the swish was got like got moved a little bit. Um, like the it just it has a lot more details than I t- didn't see in the beginning. The, yeah. And uh, yeah, like I definitely wouldn't wear them still, but like I definitely <laughs> like I think this is like going to be one of those shoes like to hang up on the wall with the other like off whites you have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's it's definitely like I said, like a collector's piece. Like I was saying, yeah, wearability seems a little bit more tougher than like a UNC. Yeah, like the blue ones. I definitely think the blue ones are my favorite. 
but these yeah. are like second and then like the orange and yellow ones are gonna be the third yeah it's crazy and look i just like the little details and like how you're saying kind of like you know it's, it's an off-white so you gotta res- you gotta put some respect on it like you know i still you know if i you know virgil had some like hit or misses especially with the pop smoke cover album you know <laughs> no. when he died but like besides that like you know i've always loved and respected what virgil was doing and you know yeah if, even if he's not there right now like i hope like they're just trying to keep him and their thoughts when they're putting out designs like this you know yeah and like i think maybe this is one of the last ones he actually had some input but um i'm not 100 percent sure but still a good shoe okay yeah. now looking at all these shoes that dropped last month and what order are you putting these in from like best to worst or i guess most favorite most most favorite to least favorite all right <laughs> so i definitely i got a pair of these so i'm gonna put them at first because i'm gonna wear these yeah I want these. These would be sick to have just because I love this green. Um, again, I wear a lot of dunks. I don't know why. I think it's because <laughs> I don't know why. Because I got a big ass foot. Um, so I'd wear the gray ones. And then the fire reds would be my fourth. And then these ones, again, if you get these, you probably shouldn't wear them unless you're like Chief Key for. Like, like if you're a rapper, yeah. wear them. <laughs> like if you can, like you don't care, like that's fine, but like. <laughs> If you're a normal person, a normal person, a normal nor- normal person, you probably shouldn't wear these and just kind of have them as collector's item. Okay. So I would put them at the last, but that's just because I don't want to wear them. They're just so valuable, you know. I think I'm with you on that. Like I just wouldn't wear it. Um, yeah, I just wouldn't wear them. It's like my Travis Scotts. Like I still haven't worn those just because like I'm just looking at them again and being like. And they were they're they're used too. Yeah. Like they were worn like once, right? Yeah, yeah. I got them worn once, but I still haven't worn them even after. Yeah. Even just just the idea of like getting the mess up i feel like i'd have the same thing with these like yeah. i'll just be like i don't want to crease it like you know mm-hmm. so i'd put this last for me i'm working backwards so i would keep this in number five um i would probably do sorry i'll probably do the dunks at four um i'll probably do these at number one because i mean it's a fire red three come on yep. and then taxis at two and then green at three so that's that's where i would be at pretty yeah, similar yeah. i think i just like i said i prefer these are all fire. the classics these are all good shoes yeah guys. those three were i think uh, i feel like in my like i think we both said that right these three right here yeah these are all solid like yeah you know, these are solid shoes these are just like a good like i want to like have a good that's a casual shoe a daily shoe like i wouldn't yeah. hate on you for having those at all like it's not a shoe that i'm like why'd you buy those like yeah. i see why you would buy those mm-hmm. like if you're buying these though the denims i might question you a little bit you know these are a good looking shoe guys <laughs> no, you just gotta take the earrings off them and oh my god good looking shoe they're nah. I'm not gonna i uh, bought him and oscar was like why did you do that i'm like it's a good shoe just give give it some give it a couple years okay guys yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> whatever whatever all right we're done with that september where, where would you write these i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> i would throw those in the trash <laughs> wow wow really really shout out justin <laughs> these, are, these are up 20 dollars on retail <laughs> yeah like i don't know i just it's, i don't think it's a good shoe at all for me in my personal opinion you but know, i think some people are sleeping but let's go on to the next topic uh, October, October's very own drake dropping another album who knows hopefully who knows? not <laughs> <laughs> i mean a rap album, not a, a rap not, not album. No dance hall, but anyways, Let's see, these are shoes that are going to be coming out in October that I feel like are a little bit more anticipated. Um, things, shoes that we wear that are in our radar, uh, that we're waiting for. So, these are the shoes that are dropping in October. Um, the Jordan 4 Navies, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Me, mommy, <laughs> me, mommy. <laughs> again, hey, what was it again? We're going to rerun it. we, we got to rerun it because Ben Affleck got to speak yeah, Spanish. Yeah, he, he's like, he's ahead of sneak in there. No, sorry. I opened my phone. Go ahead. <laughs> These are the most anticipated shoes for October, okay? Yep. The Jordan 4 Navies. The Jordan 4 Purple Canyons. The Jordan 4 Black ca- uh Black Cats. Black Canvas. Black Canvas, guys. The Nike Dunk SB Dodgers. Dodgers. The Nike Dunk UCLA's. And the Nike Dunk Gem Reds. Now, most of those are Jordan 4s and Dunks because I feel like, personally, they're just killing the game. Mm-hmm. Um, like, you can't go wrong with those two at, at the moment as yep. far as reselling and wearability. They're just the two most popular shoes in the, like, in the market right now. So, which one of these are you most ha- like excited about? I really want the Dodgers. The Nike SB Dodgers, I think. We Actually, saw we have a pair. Have, we do have a pair. I'll be right back. He'll be right back. Entertain them. But uh, the shoe itself, 
it's a uh, well i haven't had an, any a nike sb in a while and the colorway is clean um the materials are nice you know and i just like going from regular dunks to like sbs like you really see the quality and the comfort in them so i really want a pair and i want to get my girlfriend a pair too oh these are just it's beautiful it's a beautiful again like just clean and this the other pair has the gum bottom oh, i'll grab the wrong pair though. <laughs> so the gum stain like the what were the the, the Phillies? ones the philly no uh, but also like those uh jordan one pinks like oh you're talking about the jordan one like the patent leather women's oh my yeah, god i forgot the name of them guys but uh those ones have like they all have like little like gum on the weren't floor they just called the bubble gums i think they were the bubble gums, I think yeah, they just yeah, called yeah. Bubble gums. but those are yeah they have the same concept but yeah these are super crispy the swish is like a like a soft material like a it's like not a leather material and yeah you're just gonna get like the better like the insoles on these have like the zoom air and like a cushion on the floor super foot. comfortable so, I, like, I, I tried them on yeah like, these <laughs> those are, are like, my size i might just keep those to be honest i would too guys like this is a nice <laughs> shoe i think he bought them just so you can keep them because low-key I i'm, want I'm trying to convince these. myself to buy them off of us so i'm like yeah do the palm tree too show them the palm tree show oh, yeah, them the palm, the palm tree. trees and the tongue guys you probably she, can't see it because the yeah, lighting but, oh there you go guys. you can see it you can but see just it. like the white with the blue and the gum is just uh oh, it's just beautiful it's just a good shoe bro oh my god it's just such a wearable shoe i think that's what they're yeah. saying it's like <sighs> and i love royal blue like royal blue like such a good shoe like you know the fire red the royal blue like those like bright ri vibrant colors is what i always like kind of go for when i look for like a shoe like uh maroons and like burgundies and like those kind of colors i don't really like going for just because like they don't really kind of set it off for me as much you know um we also have the black canvases in hand as well too so we're going to show you those ones these I told, are I, I keep forgetting that we have these so <laughs> yeah, yeah so these are the m m's <laughs> the m m fours the m m fours are back guys yeah these snap are back to reality i got m m fours yeah, mom's okay. spaghetti mom's <laughs> spaghetti on my shoes already no, but, uh, yeah for sure I think everybody's kind of comparing these to either the M&M's or they kind of compare them to there's like a couple of shoes actually like you got the M&M Carhartts you have the Black Cats and you have the Jordan Bread 4 it's are, like, those, it's, those are all yeah. three like of the shoes that people it's like almost a bread them. four to be honest yeah I think even closer to bread <laughs> four than any uh well m m carhartt's and the bread fours for sure yeah yeah and i can see the black i mean because it's basically an all black i mean yeah you i i see painting, it start painting guys it's definitely like a second like uh like a shoe that kind of replaces all of those and i know those are all kind of super expensive mm -hmm. um some expensive for no reason on <laughs> black hats but you know like some some of the shoes are just too expensive to wear so i think that i'm excited for this one the most because you know Dude, it's like a daily. You can just trash yeah. it and not really worry about it. Mm -hmm. Prices shouldn't be super crazy, at least not in the beginning. Um, Until the holidays hit, guys. <laughs> so get them yeah, before the holidays I would hit. say definitely yeah, try to get these before the holidays if you wanted to wear them um, and get a good price point on them. Um, I feel like you can't really go wrong paying. like I feel like for great schools, you know, paying anywhere up to like 250 is a good price yeah. point. For men, up to like three. 320 330 maybe even 350 would be a fair price point um, in my opinion yeah, if you can't if you just can't find them and you see somebody locally who has them for that price point i feel like that's a fair price point because i definitely think it's a good it's a good shoe <laughs> these drop october 1st guys so these both actually that's funny because these both drop october 1st oh, okay yeah, yeah, yeah so this is like an ad <laughs> that's kind of funny dropping this october 1st so like if you guys get a size 13 let me know because i can fit a 13 in these so yeah and then size 10 size let 10 me know for, for the these <laughs> we're not even gonna be reselling shoes soon um, we're just gonna be buying shoes for bro ourselves. This is, it's it sucks we, we built like, this up that's just why, so that's we can why we're order here shoes. but no but that's why we're here let's be real like like if it wasn't for our love of shoes yeah, yeah we yeah. wouldn't be doing this bro so you know um but a uh, great school too um if you're seeing anybody but else who has like a few pairs that you're trying to get rid of in grade schools that yeah. you hit hit us up um we're actually going to be looking to buy some we're going to be so, looking to buy a lot of these black canvases so yeah so hit us, us up know, if guys. you have some of these even men's sizes i mean like mm -hmm. any men's size grade schools um hit us up and we'll definitely be buying these too so yeah. um for but so which one was is your your more anticipated shoes probably those, this yeah. one mine will probably be the black canvases yeah. just because like i said it's a four wearable and i, and I can definitely i can definitely see this being a, a mm -hmm. good mover for uh, like the holidays and stuff like that so for reselling and personal reasons i think this is going to be my favorite one yeah yeah, um, and like the Dunk UCLA's, the Gym Reds, clean colorways again, you know. But it's just gym like Gym Reds are. I, I like the Gym Reds. I think I, the Gym Reds are fire. They're you know? fire, and I, I think too with like kind of like 
Um, the price point is dropping a little bit. It shouldn't mm-hmm. be something that's more than like what, like 180, maybe 160. So it's a good we'll shoe. Again, yeah. Wearable. I think we're finally getting the price points we kind of want, especially mm-hmm. with something like the like a regular Dunk. I personally have not. I'm not the biggest fan of Dunks. Um, the biggest quality. reason, yeah, biggest reason was the quality one, yeah. and then the price point was the second one. So that's why I never really purchased them. Um, but seeing that with the price is kind of, you know, settling down, I'm like, you know, I might buy them now just to wear them. <laughs> Especially with those, uh, the UNC dunks are oh, still going yeah. for like four to five hundred dollars like i would not pay no yeah four or five hundred don't spend that much money on those guys but like <laughs> yeah like the gym i uh, do like the gym red i think it's a clean shoe if you guys can get your hands on it definitely buy it just because it's going to resell well and like again you could just rust like just wear them because like they're just a clean color way and the same thing with these the uclas i don't really mess with yellow like blue and yellow is kind of what it's called like i'm not a really big chargers fan so yeah, yeah. Golden State. I'm not a Golden State fan, so. And the Jordan Four, like the Purple Canyons, they're not my favorite. Um, the Navy Purple Canyons. I yeah, they're like those. they're like the ones that kind of look like the Travis Scott, like purple, uh, but they but they got with more the green. But but they're yeah. They've got those those are trash. Those are trash. Another TikTok uh, clip. Let's run it. Run it. Run it back. But uh, yeah, I saw. You, well, I saw those. We, we got to yeah. do. We <laughs> got to do. We got to do the TikTok clip, everybody. Welcome to our segment called Shoe Talk, where we post shoe TikToks. Ready? Have you seen the Jordan Four Purple Canyons? Trash. Why? Why do you think that? Because they're trash. Bruh. <laughs> they're gonna come after you. You know that, right? Because because I'm what I'm the trash man, and then they want to throw the trash <laughs> away. Every Jordan Four, bro. Uh, it's just that green is so ugly but we'll, yeah. we'll just we'll save that for the tiktoks guys <laughs> we don't want to blow you know blow her yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll save it we'll save yeah, it we'll yeah. save it but, but I, I didn't know that's actually the shoe you were talking about until yeah i, that, that I remembered it and that's i was not like my favorite. it's not my favorite guys um I, i'm going hard on them i'm sorry but yeah that re- basically wraps up everything like when we're talking about shoes and stuff like that i really just kind of want to talk about a specific like shoes that are coming out that yeah. came out and shoes that are gonna come out and what we're excited about um i think it'd be cool if like if there's other resellers who want to drop like you know especially in the tri-cities i know a lot of them watches so it's just kind of if you can drop down what what shoes you think mm-hmm. um are going to be a good shoe for october um that's going to be releasing or what shoes that you like that dropped in september Mm -hmm. um and and you know maybe give us some like investment like what what do you think it's gonna be the next shoe to buy um and uh, for the collectors what shoe do you think is a good shoe that you you know you can buy hold on to and then later down the line be like you know that was a shoe that like you you wanted to have and and now it's worth maybe a little bit more yeah so you know that's if what you guys want to drop a comment you know or like hit us up on instagram just try to like you know be active in the community you know just let us know what you guys are thinking you yeah, know yeah please yeah, sub yeah. sub subscribe subscribe comment please you know like you comment know, like the all more that, all that fun stuff guys yeah you know? i know we're still small but we're trying to we're just gonna keep trying to push you know we're make gonna some more content Follow us on TikTok too. Yeah, TikTok guys. TikTok. We're gonna try to get all the resellers, like people locally, to get on this podcast soon. You know, we're trying yeah. to get a bigger space, so just give us some time, guys. Just yeah, we're we're, we're still working on the whole space stuff right now. I think that's gonna be the biggest thing is trying to get some space. But yeah, awesome, you guys. Well, anything else? That's it. Wrap up. Thank Wrapping you guys so much for listening. Thank you guys, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Boom. Peace.